but however damage to the hip joint the retina it occurs more in patients with sickle cell hemoglobin C disease than in patients with sickle cell disease. So if you want to have a full understanding of today's topic, watch our previous healthcare videos. So this CC means that this child inherited abnormal hemoglobin C from a parent and abnormal hemoglobin C from the other parent making the CC genetic makeup. So this is medically called hemoglobin C disease. So this hemoglobin C disease can produce mild to moderate anemia, joints, swelling of spleen. But however, some of the people with this hemoglobin C disease do not have these symptoms. It's only few of them that have it. And this hemoglobin C disease is relatively rare. But this SC means the child inherited abnormal hemoglobin S from one parent an abnormal hemoglobin C from the other parent making the genetic makeup of SC so this is medically called sickle cell hemoglobin C disease so this disease may produce symptoms similar to sickle cell disease or hemoglobin C disease some cases may be mild and have just few symptoms while some of these symptoms appear at the early 10 years of life and sometimes they may not appear until later life and sometimes the first appear when the woman with this sickle cell hemoglobin C disease is pregnant because this woman will experience a lot of complication during pregnancy but this sickle cell hemoglobin C disease is considered less severe compared to sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease but however damage to the hip joint the retina it occurs more in patients with sickle cell hemoglobin c disease than in patients with sickle cell disease